Anticipation is building on Capitol Hill as lawmakers get ready for former special counsel Robert Mueller's testimony tomorrow. Here to talk about this is Travis County GOP Chairman Matt Makoviak and Obi Rahman with the Texas Democratic Party. Thank you both for being here. Thank you. Sure. Matt, President Trump says Mueller's testimony is just another chapter in what he calls a partisan witch hunt. What are your thoughts on that? Well, look, I, I think both parties have different goals here with this hearing. My guess is it's going to be underwhelming and probably not change the dynamic very much. Look, Democrats, I think, want to try to find out if the Justice Department rule against indicting a sitting president is the reason he didn't seek to indict Trump. Uh, they're going to want to try to learn more about the obstruction uh, uh, situations. Um, and they're, all, I think, probably going to ask him to read sections of the report, believing that people can pay attention to, to a visual rather than to just simply written text. Um, the Republicans, I think, are going to want to know, you know, when did Mueller know there was no criminal conspiracy with Russia? And if he knew that before the midterm election, you know, did he have a responsibility to let the voters know that? Uh, and then about the Steele dossier, which the Mueller report basically uh, proves is, is ridiculous and, and unverified. Uh, they're going to want to know when did he learn that and, and, and you know, what was involved and in, in how that was, con that was put together. Obi, some Democrats insist the hearings aren't about impeachment or possible impeachment. What is the goal? Well, the goal is for the American people to understand exactly what happened from the source. Uh, you look at it, we've seen the very uh, redacted version of the Mueller report, which is over 400 pages long, which most people haven't even been able to read. We've seen the clip note version from uh, William Barr. Uh, the only person we can trust on the Mueller report is Robert Mueller. And here's what I think you're going to see tomorrow. You're going to see uh, three major things. And number one is that the Trump administration, uh, Russia interfered on behalf of the Trump administration uh, in the 2016 election. Number two is that the Trump administration uh, and Donald Trump especially invited that interference. And then number three is that they impeded the investigation as much as they possibly could have. And you account for all three of those. That definitely sounds like obstruction of justice to me. Um, and the fact of the matter is that the reason why Robert Mueller couldn't say that there was obstruction of justice is because he wasn't legally allowed to. Uh, so we're going to get exactly what we want to hear from the direct source, from the only person that we can trust on this investigation. Matt, the DOJ has reminded Mueller to stay within the boundaries of the public report. Can there be any new revelations from the testimony? Based on what the Justice Department has said and based on what Robert Mueller has said, uh, he's going to stay within the four corners of the report. Um, you know, that, that is what has been made publicly available. There's a, there's a much less redacted version that's been available to every member of Congress. Uh, only a handful have actually seen that version. So look, this is about impeachment. Let's be honest for a second here. That, this is entirely about impeachment. Uh, Democrats don't want to accept the conclusions of the Mueller report. Uh, because it entirely uh, washed away the, the, the conspiracy and collusion claims made against the Trump campaign as it relates to Russia. And yes, on the question of obstruction, uh, Mueller said he had evidence on both sides and that he couldn't come to a conclusion. And so ultimately it was the Attorney General, who is Mueller's boss, uh, it's up to him to, to come to that conclusion. So I think the Democrats are going to try to use this to change public opinion and to move towards an impeachment inquiry. They're under tremendous pressure from their base to do that. We'll see if they do, but my guess is this is going to be an underwhelming hearing. All right, we're just about out of time. OB, final thought. Well, the final thoughts are this. Like, the letter that uh, was sent from Barr to Mueller isn't a good look for anybody. It, it, it shows you once again that the Trump administration is doing everything they can to impede this investigation. They're not letting uh, Robert Mueller have the freedom to basically say what he wants to say, which he's going to do anyways. Um, I think in terms of impeachment, uh, what we're going to hear from Robert Mueller is probably that, once again, that in 2016, Russia interfered in the election in uh, Donald Trump basically uh, invited that interference and then in, he tried to obstruct justice afterwards. And I think with that, you're going to see um, exactly what Robert Mueller wanted in the first place. And that's an opportunity to tell his side of the story to the American people. All right. Well, we will find out tomorrow when those uh, hearing, the hearing is held. But uh, Obi, Matt, thank you again for coming in and sharing your perspectives with us tonight.